What's up muscle car people? This is Bringing Muscle Cars and I'm Matt. Today we're going to turn this ordinary tool cart into the ultimate tool cart. So first step I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do some disassembly of the tool cart. We're going to remove the side tray and we're also going to remove, I don't know, the lubrication holder over here, whatever you want to call it, the tray over here. So we're going to remove those and then the bumpers on the front, we got some big things coming to the tool cart. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install my jack holder right here on the side to help counterbalance what's going on the other side of the tool cart. So I cut this bracket and I'm gonna install it up here. But first we're gonna have to remove these. All right, so this is the jack holder. It's gonna go right here. And we're gonna use this to mount this top piece. We can't just mount this like this because that doesn't look cool. Okay. That doesn't yep. match. So we bought paint to match no. it. And Harbor Freight, what's up with this? All my stuff is green. I need some green jacks. So we're gonna take care of that problem too at the same time. These up, now we're gonna hit them with some primer and then we're gonna hit them with some paint. In case you're wondering, I am for hire. If you need a nice paint job done, let me know. Okay. Don't pull it, Jared. Jared does that sometimes. Yeah. All right. Uh, record, but not actually record. <laughs> All right, so to have the ultimate tool cart, you're gonna need some more storage here. So we went with the side cabinet from Harbor Freight, or AKA, end cabinet part number awesome that's the part number so we're going to install this on this side and it's one heavy cabinet i'm actually kind of surprised so while that stuff is drying zoom over there while that stuff is drying we're going to install this on the other side let's get to it okay so I had the cabinet on there, did some measurements. We're gonna have to make a couple cuts. I think if we cut this part off here, it will sit over this part and sit flush. And then we have to cut two cuts on the door. This one here, come in a little closer. That one here, and then this one on the back corner, right there, because it's hitting right there. And then I think we can just pull the side down or out a little bit and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna make these cuts and see how it works. this look easy. I wonder if it really is. It's not, trust me. Bring it. So we're gonna test fit this. Let's see. 
I'm gonna try not to give myself a hurt again. All right, here, zoom in. You can see that now it's sitting flush with it, how it's supposed to be before it was up higher. That is a, that's sitting a lot better than it was before. Pretty happy with that. So let's test the door. Pretty close here. I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit bigger. And then back here. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit hit that with the grinder, but just smooth that out. Let me notch this a little bit. So we're gonna test out the lock to see if cutting that a little bit more works. And it does lock. We did an excellent job on this. Way to go, us. Well, me, basically, because I did it by myself. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the help. Yeah. All right, so we'll put the drawers back in and then we'll finish up with uh, installing the, the jack holder. So let's get to it. Oh, right into my leg. Oh my God. Oh, you should have saw her face. That was hilarious. <laughs> Not funny. All right, so we added the jack holder to the other side of the cart. And now you can see how I did it. Just basically a couple bolts. I put a bracket back here. here. Look at the bracket. Pretty simple. And just a couple bolts through it. It feels sturdy. Now we have to test it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. seems to work. I don't know if that's a little scary to me. Yeah, you have bungee cord to hold it in place? Mm, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, that would definitely work. So we'll do, we'll figure something out so it's not bouncing around as we're going down the road, since this will be in the trailer. So stay tuned for that. And hold on. All right, man, I can add the handle back on, so I'm gonna do that now. Stay tuned, hold on. Two seconds, it will be done. Ready? Watch. And the handle's on. I like the handle regardless. I know a lot of people take them off and never use it, but this is going in the trailer, so there's gonna be times where it comes out of the trailer. Maybe, I mean, it's pretty good now. We'll find out. But the handle's back on there regardless. I like it. Gives me a little bit more storage space too for the funnels and stuff. But, so we have that. We have the jack holder. We have green, I don't know, this doesn't really look very good because they didn't get very close. But Harbor Freight, come on man, listen up. We need matching jack stands to go with the jack and the toolboxes. You know how many people would buy them? Everybody, because I know I would. And I know a lot of people would, especially if you have multiple guys with different color toolboxes and, and jacks, it will help things out a lot. So again, you can see how we added the side chest. The lock still works. So that part is great. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna put the plug, probably on the side over there. Just makes the most sense. Maybe that would also work right there too. So we might do that. Um, and then I got two more tips to make this box even better. Because over here, we did have, you know, the spray paint, the brake cleaner holder, but now we had to take that off to mount this. Man, what are we gonna do with that? It'd be nice if we still had that. Here's what we're gonna do. 
we're gonna use we're gonna use it and we're gonna use the magnets from the magnetic trays if you haven't seen it watch the video I'll link it at the end on how to make magnetic socket holder trays and so we use the magnetics or we use the magnets that we had left and we're going to apply that boom right there how awesome is that you're thinking man that's genius right there I don't think it's gonna go anywhere one more thing we're gonna add it's not going anywhere is it Jared we're we have the hanging tray with screwdriver holder this is part number five six four four seven and what some people actually do with this which I think is a neat tip if you don't really want to put anything in here they actually drill more holes in here to fit more screwdrivers so if you're a guy that uses a lot of screwdrivers or allen keys or anything like that you could use this drill some holes in it and then mount it right here but maybe straight so we got access to everything right there I don't know Jared what do you think is this the ultimate tool cart now yep that's what I thought so again if you have any questions on how to do this I laid it out pretty straightforward in the in the video you could do it where it's even in the front or even in the back like I did it you could do it either way but it works you do have to push down a little bit on the top but for the most part the top is going to be up so I'm not that worried about it if you have any questions hit me up down below I usually respond to all the questions all the comments I uh, appreciate any feedback if you would do anything different on here let me know any more ideas on what's what stuff I could add to it let me know uh, we're probably going to be pretty heavy by the time we fill it up with tools but we'll see so if you're like us well you might be here for tools and not cars but we have fast cars and if you're like us and you have a fast car you better bring it also if they can't find you handsome they might as well find you handy thanks for watching guys all right guys thanks for watching this video i'm going to link a couple more videos that if you like this one and you made it all the way to the end you're going to definitely like these so watch them also that middle button right there i think is probably you know somewhere in there hit that button to subscribe thanks for watching stay tuned for more action